In this video we are going to explain what is calorie surplus. You don't need to eat excessive amount of fat and junk food to be in calorie surplus to gain muscle or weight. A calorie surplus is a state in which you consume more calories than you burn leading to weight gain in the form of muscle or body fat. While a calorie surplus is required to gain weight, simply eating more only leads to unsightly body fat. To gain muscle, you must combine a calorie surplus with a strength training routine. What is a calorie surplus? A calorie surplus is a state in which you eat more calories than you burn. If you eat 3000 calories per day and burn 2500, you've created a surplus or excess of 500 calories per day. When you create a calorie surplus, your body either uses the extra energy to build muscle or store fat. Mostly skinny people adopt this calorie surplus to gain weight or gain muscle. So we are going to explain how to gain weight and how to gain muscle with how to gain weight. Gaining weight requires a calorie surplus. When you consistently eat more than you burn, your body either builds muscle or stores extra energy as fat. Your first step is to figure out how many calories you burn each day. You can use the calorie calculator for an estimate. The calculator estimates your daily needs based on size, gender, age and physical activity level. If you burn 3000 calories per day, gaining weight requires an intake of over 3000 calories per day. So you need to have 500 more calories than 3000, so you will be in 500 calories surplus. How to gain muscle, while gaining weight simply requires a calorie surplus, gaining muscle requires combining a surplus with a strength training routine. When you overload muscles with work, strength training, the body directs extra energy, calorie surplus, to build muscle. When you work out, you create tiny tears in muscle tissue. The body treats these tears as injuries and repairs them during rest. Once the damage is repaired, the muscle fiber becomes bigger and stronger resulting in weight gain. This recovery process is energy intensive. If you don't provide the body with enough calories, you will not gain weight or get stronger. A larger calorie surplus generally leads to faster weight gain. A common mistake however is eating too much. Though your goal may be to gain weight, a larger surplus leads to excessive fat gains. If you are eating too much calories you are going to be fat. One more common mistake they starts eating junk food to reach their calorie need and end up being fat. Gaining some fat is normal when gaining muscle. Keeping your calorie surplus at a moderate level, around 500 calories over what your body burns each day, keeps the fat gain to a minimum. Keeping track of your weight body fat percentage and calorie intake how to identify calorie surplus for men or women men and women vary greatly in their ability to gain muscle mass over their lifetime it's pretty well understood that men have 8 to 10x the amount of testosterone than women this is why men are generally larger have bigger bones joints bigger muscles and more masculine traits such as thick facial hair body hair broad shoulders and sharp jawlines since men naturally produce more testosterone, their genetic potential for more muscle mass is greater than that of a woman. Therefore, the ability for them to synthesize more muscle from a large surplus of calories is greater, and they can manage to eat more food, in general. So when considering your goals for muscle gain, understanding your genetic ability based on your gender is of great importance. Caloric surplus for men in general, somewhere between 100 to 400 calories above maintenance intake per day, is a good starting point. Any more than this and the muscle to fat gain ratio is likely to caloric surplus for women in general, somewhere between 100 to 300 calories above maintenance intake per day, is a good starting point. Any more than this, and the muscle to fat gain ratio is likely to skew toward more fat gain.